Welcome to Electron Online. Here we have a traditional problem where we have a coiled spring containing potential energy pushing against an object. That object then will typically slide up the incline and reach maximum height. And the object then is to find out how far up the incline will it go before it comes to a stop. However, in this case, we don't have a sliding object. We have a rolling object. Then will there be a difference? Let's find out. Now, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to find the velocity at the bottom of the incline, and then we're going to find out how high it will go up the incline before it comes to a complete stop. So first, what is the velocity when it gets to this point? We use the equation where the initial energy must equal the final energy. In this case, the final energy will be energy at point two right there. The initial energy is the stored energy in the spring that will then be initial potential energy. And then the final energy at this location will only be kinetic energy. So it will be kinetic energy translational at two plus kinetic energy rotational at two because they'll have both kinds of kinetic energy, both translational and rotational kinetic energy. Potential energy stored in the spring is one half kx squared. We have the x right here and the k, oh I didn't write down the k, the k is equal to 500 newtons per meter. And that should equal the translational kinetic energy which is the one half mv squared of the rolling object plus the one half i omega squared of the rolling object. Now what we're trying to do is find out what v here is, so we have to express i and omega in terms of v and m. One half kx squared is equal to one half mv squared, and that of course will be v at location two, plus one half times the moment of inertia of a solid ball is two fifths mr squared. And omega can be written in terms of v divided by r. And of course, we have to square those because it's omega squared. Then you can see that the r squares cancel out. And we can write this as 1 half kx squared is equal to 1 half mv at location 2 squared plus the 2's cancel out. That would be 1 fifth mv at location 2 squared. Now to get rid of the fractions, let's multiply both sides by 10 and see what we get. So that gives us 5kx squared is equal to 5mv2 squared plus 2mv2 squared. Combining those last two terms, this gives us 7mv2 squared. And finally, solving for v2, we can do that over here. If we solve for v2, we can then say that v2 squared is equal to the left side, which is 5kx squared. And then the coefficients of v2, which is 7 and n, can then go to the other side. We then divide by that, like this. And finally, v2 is equal to the square root of 5kx squared over 7m. Now let's plug in the values and see what we get. This is equal to the square root of 5 times k was 500, x was 0 0.4 because we have converted to meters, we squared that, divided by 7 times the mass, which is 2 kilograms. Now with a calculator, we'll find out what that is equal to. We have 0.4 squared times 500 times 5 divided by 7 divided by 2, take the square root and we get 6.48 meters per second. Now for the second part, we're trying to find how far up the incline it will go before it comes to a complete stop, or when it comes to a complete stop. What's interesting here is here you would think that because it has rotational and translational kinetic energy, it would be different than it would be if the object was sliding, but in actuality, that is not going to be the case. And let's find out why. So again, we use the equation, energy initial, is equal to energy at location 3. So now the final position will be up here. And the initial energy, again, will be the stored kinetic energy in the spring. That would be potential energy initial equals. The energy at location 3 will only be potential energy because the velocity at that point will be 0. Therefore, there will be no translational kinetic energy. There will be no rotational kinetic energy. Therefore, the energy at point 3 will only be potential energy at point 3. 
You can see that this equation has no kinetic energy terms, therefore it doesn't matter if the object is rotating or sliding because it no longer has any kinetic energy. All the kinetic energy of the spring was turned into rotational and translational kinetic energy of the object as it was rolling, but then when it gets to the top, assuming again there is no energy loss due to friction, to make it a little bit easier here, then when it gets to the top it has no longer any kinetic energy left, and therefore we can say that this is true. Then we can say that the initial potential energy, which is one half kx squared, must equal the potential energy at the end, which is therefore equal to mgh. Now converting this to d, notice the triangle, h is the opposite side to the angle, that means that h is equal to the hypotenuse d times the sine of 30 degrees, the sine of theta, in other words, d is equal to h divided by the sine of theta. So instead of writing mgh, since we want things in terms of d, we're going to have to write it as, let's see, h will be written as d times sine theta, one half kx squared equals mg times h, which is d sine theta, and we're trying to solve this equation for d. That means we're going to divide both sides by mg times sine of theta, so we have kx squared divided by 2 mg sine of theta equals to d, or d is equal to k, which is 500, times x squared, 0.4 squared, divided by 2 times the mass, I believe that was 2 kilograms, yes, g 9.8, and the sine of 30 degrees, which is of course 1 half. Plugging that into our calculator, we get 0.4 squared times 500 divided by 4 divided by 9.8 and divided by 0.5 and we get a height or not a height but a distance of the incline d equals 4.08 meters and that will then be the solution to the second part of the problem. Notice again, it really made no difference at all that the object was rolling or sliding because the initial condition and the final condition both only have potential energy in it and no kinetic energy. And that's why it's like this. And that's how it's done.